Welcome to Mostly Speakers. Today is going to be a product teardown because I'm short on time this week. And we're gonna take a look inside this Mackie MR5 Studio Monitor. The reason I'm gonna be taking this apart is because this monitor is dead and not serving any functional purpose right now. So this is a pretty basic monitor, five inch woofer and one inch silk dome tweeter. And uh, then the logo and the pilot light on the front now I'm going to plug this in. As you can see, the pilot light comes on. I have an audio feed, so I'll plug this in as well. Make sure the gain is turned down first. And I'll turn up the dial. That's, I'm getting a signal from my DSP over in my equipment rack and there is nothing coming out of the speaker. So I'm going to unplug it and I'll turn it around and show you the back. All right, here's the back of the monitor. It's a pretty basic uh, amplifier on here. So the Mackie MR5 Active Studio Monitor. It has three inputs, RCA for computer desktop use, TRS balanced for quarter inch or XLR balanced. We've got the IEC type plug with the fuse, the on off switch. It has high frequency filter, so you can drop it zero or boost it by two dB. And then the low filter, zero, two dB or four dB of boost. And then down here, it's rear ported. All right, I'm gonna get my power drill because it's what I have handy by, and it's set on low so I don't wreck the particle board. And after removing five of the six screws, because one's missing, and we're in. So this is the port. It's a plastic tube, and it kind of just is wedged in place by friction. Here we are looking in the back of the Mackie monitor speaker. And as you can see, it's quite basic. Um, we have our toroidal power transformer, and then we have two amplifiers. So this is by amplified system. We have, let me grab a pointing device. The handle is insulated. Be very careful if you're poking around inside electronics. Right here behind this wire is the rectifier. And then we have our power supply capacitors this white lead goes to the um, indicator light inside the cabinet. And this is, these are our two amplifier boards. So the larger heat sink is for the woofer and the smaller heat sink is for the tweeter. So we have the blue wire going to the tweeter inside and the red wire to the woofer. Uh, I also see there is a thermistor bolted onto the tweeter for circuit protection. Now, something on this amplifier board is dead. If I had tools and the meter, I could probably figure out what's broken and repair it. But right now I don't have the tools and means to do that. So this is just a tour of the boards for now. All right, I'm going to disconnect the speaker outputs and the power LED. That one's a little stuck. And now our amplifier board is free from the cabinet. There's a little different angle of it. And now I'm going to go in deeper into the cabinet. So I'll reset the camera and we'll take a look and see what lies behind door number two in the back of this box. I think I'm gonna use the manual screwdriver because my drill is not gonna reach deep enough into here. All right, all the screws are out, and let's see if this thing will come apart. There we are. Oh, that's a tight fit. And 
interesting is there's not much to this. This is the rest of the port on the inside. It's actually just a slot that's glued together on the back of this. Here's uh, the rest of our leads. And let's see, I don't think this will get out of the way far enough. So let's see, what do we have? You can just see our woofer in there. It's magnetically shielded. Well, very interesting. So the tweeter is in its own sealed little particle board puck. So there's really no way to gain access to the tweeter. Um, not entirely sure if the tweeter has a crossover capacitor on it or if it's running full range. And I don't want to really blast it with full range to find out, but I can see that there is no crossover components on the woofer. So that is running full range inside this cabinet. Well, that's going to conclude this really short look at this Mackie MR5 studio monitor with the dead amplifier. Um, I will hopefully be, be able to repair this amplifier someday down in the future. And if I am able to do so, I will certainly make a video on it. But for the time being, this is as far as I'm going to get on it. So I hope you found this video at least somewhat remotely interesting. And if you did, I would sure appreciate it if you helped out my channel by giving it a like and subscribe and even possibly leaving a comment. Maybe you know some information on how to repair these. I would appreciate that. And stay tuned for more uh, teardown videos in the future. I have, I'm short on time this week, so I need to just a easy video to make. And I'll be looking at not only home hi-fi, but pro audio equipment like this monitor and audio mixers and power amplifiers and things of that nature. And until next time, thank you for watching.